Hey everybody, and play for the 85 here. Welcome to another build video for Zero. Today I'm going to cover my melee build for Zero. Keep in mind that I am level 72, as you can see there. So I do have 22 or 11 more skill points than you will have at your maximum level, depending on what DLC you got. Um, this can this build can be switched around and around, I suppose, uh, at to your liking. So yeah. Uh, first off, I will mention that I am using a legendary ninja class mod, which does affect where I put my skill points. Um, any blue or purple rated um, ninja class mod will just do fine, but the legendary ninja is sort of the top of the top. You can also be using the legendary um, hunter class mod, which is the original legendary hunter, legendary class mod, with legendary perfect. Anyway, let's go over the skills first. Uh, first we have deception, that's an obvious one, you actually have to have that. And I always take 5 points in killing blow and 5 points in iron hand. Killing blow uh, increases ma massively increases melee damage against enemies with low health. Uh, since I got a thousand damage, bon a thousand extra damage, that means I'm pretty much a one-shot kill on most enemies that have low health. So that's amazing. Uh, finishes off low health enemies. Great. Uh, Iron Hand increases maximum health and melee damage. Uh, that's overall great uh, for everything. Health and, ma and melee damage. That's great. Uh, I'm gonna skip be like water and grim because with this build you are going to prefer to have your shields down. Um, so having your shields to quickly regenerate definitely is not good. The cooldown rate would be nice though, but yeah. Uh, be light water, shooting an enemy improves melee damage uh, for the next melee attack. Melee damage uh, does the same thing for shooters. Uh, it's a nice skill and the damage is okay, but yeah, I'm not going to take it. Uh, I'm going to take 5 points in backstab. Increases melee damage when attacking it, when meleeing an enemy from behind. Um, follow through, killing an enemy increases movement speed, melee damage, and gun damage. That's a great one. 80% uh, melee damage and 80% movement speed is absolutely excellent. Execute melee override skill while deception is active and the target is under your crosshairs. Press V, which is my melee attack button, to dash forward and short distance and perform a special melee attack dealing massive damage. This is great. Now, resurgence Preferably, you're not going to be out of deception much, so you're going to be regenerating health throughout that with another skill. But because of my legendary class mod, uh, legendary ninja class mod, I am going to put one point of it, so I still, you know, get my health back whenever I kill something. Like the wind, while moving, you gain increased melee damage and gun damage. That's always nice. Uh, and finally, many must fall. Now, if you are level 50, you are going to have a little bit of a problem because, you know. Cunning and Bloodshed are the main trees you're going to want to go through for melee. And here's some of my philosophy if you, you know, you are level 50. If you're planning on going against bosses or very tough enemies to kill, I'm just going to put a point in that and explain it in a minute. If you're going to be meeting a lot of tough enemies that are a bit tough to kill, um, you probably want to go down um, Cunning and get Death Blossom. However, if you're going to to go against regular enemies, you know, bandits, animals, uh, you know, regular enemies and not planning on going to m against too much bosses, I suppose, then I would recommend you might get Resurgence. Wait, what? No, that's not it. Uh, many must fall. Many must fall. Killing an enemy with a melee attack while in deception is active causes you to redeploy another holographic decoy, re-stealth, and add time to the deception's duration. This can be done multiple times in succession. What this means is every time I am deception and I get a melee kill, I will redeploy deception and get about two more seconds in the timer. This will allow me to keep my melee damage up and keep killing enemies over and over and over. Then, uh, that is pretty much my skill tree for um, Bloodshed. Again, you do not need resurgence, but I just take an extra point because I got sk skills for skill points for days. Counter-Strike increases melee damage. When you get hit, your next melee damage has a chance to deal massive melee damage. So five points into that, why not? Ambush increases damage when attacking from behind or when attacking an enemy who is not targeting you. That is, you know, a fairly good skill. Increases my damage, which includes melee. 
Unforeseen, this is extremely useful when combined with Mini Must Fall. Unforeseen, your holographic decoy explodes when you become invisible again, causing shock damage to nearby enemies. Alright, let me let me show you. When, you know, deception ends, your fancy dancy hologram just disappears. With this skill, however, it will deliver a powerful shock blast, which is pretty cool. Uh, which I'm going to show you, that does deal a good amount of damage. If my action skill could just get up again. I'm going to go in the gear and let it just go right. Show that. Explosion shock deals a good amount of damage and is overall awesome. And the hologram will disappear and activate unforeseen every time you, um, you know, get take advantage of many must fall, which is great. So that's overall awesome. Death mark dealing melee damage marks the target for a short duration. Mark targets take additional damage from all sources, and that's pretty much it. It's a pretty nice skill and it can become a little later skill in cunning. Rising shots, each successful ranged or melee attack gives you a damage bonus for a short time. This stacks with melee, so might as well pick it up. Then there is innervate. This while deception is active, you gain increased gun damage, health regeneration, and movement speed. Well, you get movement speed and health regen, so that's nice. Um, the gun damage is fairly useless, but it's fairly low as well. So yeah. And finally, uh, two fang. Gonna skip that. That's only for guns. Um, we're not really gonna use much guns. So that's useless. Death Blossom. This is an amazing skill. Action skill augments. Pressing F, which is my um, action skill deployer. While deception is active, you throw a handful of kunai. Each kunai will explode with a random elemental type. Yeah, I did show this um, in my... Uh, in my... Um, uh, sniper build video. But I suppose I should show this. Um, you know, I'm pressing F and throwing these kunai. Uh, there's about four each time. Uh, there's in they uh, get thrown as fast as you can throw them, and they also apply death mark to the enemies it hits, and it also, you know, explodes in a random explosion, so it has a chance of killing, uh, of slagging, for example, and just being overall awesome. So that's an obvious. And this is, yeah. Now, you can get all of these skills except for one if you have only level 61. If you're 61, then I recommend you just ignore Resurgence, probably, and get all the other stuff, and you'll be good. Uh, the last 12 points I really just spent to just use them. Uh, shield depleted, you gain gun damage and fire rate, that's useless to me. Uh, I'll well get some crit damage, and regular and real speed. Why not? There's not exactly anything else to in, in interest to me. I'm not going to be using that as I'm mainly going to be only me in melee for this. So yeah, literally not going to use it. Now for my gear, my weapons. Uh, I already mentioned the legendary ninja class mod. Um, my main gun is going to be a rapier. Yes, you heard right. That's the rear name of it. Um, the rapier is a unique assault rifle by Vladov. That you get in Captain Scarlet's assault on uh, wow, I'm high. Uh, on Captain Scar with from Captain Scarlet's DLC, Captain Gar Scarlet and her pirate's booty. It's in one of the mission in a bottle mission. It's in one of the mission message in a bottle. God, I can't talk. In the map called Haters Folly, there will be an exclamation mark there. Um, here's Folly. This place right here. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, the bottle should be, yeah, it's a mission item, so forth. Uh, it should, I think, be around here somewhere, I don't know, I have already completed it, as you might have guessed. Um, back to sanctuary. Uh, and the special effect of the rapier is, it has a really low, uh, gun damage, uh, gun damage. Um which is about the same as his regular SMGs. So, the Gunner sucks, but Curse of the Porcelain Fist, 200% melee damage. Absolutely a must for melee zero. Um, highly recommended. If you don't have Scarlet's DLC, another choice could be the 
um, unique revolver, Law. Law is given to you as a mission item for completing a mission that's going to be around here when you return to Sanctuary after it's gone empty in the air. It's an easy mission, you don't really need to do anything. Um, so yeah. Then, uh, gro uh, uh, Unkempt Herald, the Grog Nozzle, the same as in, um, uh, with the Sniper build, mainly there to give you combat capabilities, except for melee when enemies are away from you, and you want to get a second wind to heal you up and slag enemies, and to get you an easy second wind when your Uncomfort Herald just isn't enough. For shields, I definitely will say the Love Thumper is a, is a high recommended one for melee zero. The 200 plus second recharge delay guarantees that you are going to um, get that Roy bonus. And when you have six seconds in deception, most of the shields will have the time to recharge, which definitely hurts you in melee. Um, so yeah. Um, my relic is a Might of the Seraphs, which gives me 39.8% increased melee damage. Uh, however, you can obviously, you know, use any melee relic you want, or you can use some other kind of relic, whatever you feel like. Um, my grenade mod, I, I like the chain lightning, uh, as I can use it both to drain my shield instantly and to heal myself up using the grog nozzle with it. So, that's pretty nice. Um, so, yeah, I'm gonna show you a little bit of action with for you when Lynchwood. Um, it might be a bit confusing to see, um, at first, and you might be a little bit confused on what's going on. Um, I'm not gonna say, you know, it's guaranteed. Maybe you understand, maybe you not, maybe you find it kind of confusing or weird. But that's execute. Um, I can see I pre-shot that guy with this. Heals me up. Fine. Cooldowns. Um, you're getting a cooldown relic might be a good idea because you're not going to use the bone reactions. Uh, you get it from Torg Steel Sea. Which is kind of cool. Yeah, so here you see. It gives you about two more seconds of interception. And there, I wasn't strong enough to kill that guy and just hit. Uh, so yeah. Uh, so I use about three. Four here that it comes from DLC. Um, but yeah, execute is great for getting to enemies that are a bit off in the distance. You also want to try as much as you can to attack them behind, as that will give me, I think, it's like a 120% melee damage. Um, so you might want to try and do that. As you see, I did all this without getting down even once, so I'll call that a victory. I'm gonna keep going because I'm a badass. I will admit, oh my, two shot that guy. Um, I will admit that I do feel uh, melee zero does not work very well without uh, if I'm not you know 61 or 72, um, because then I can't get both many muscle and. Um, you know, uh, which both are extremely useful for melee. Um, but I suppose it's all personal preference. Um, yeah, I'm gonna leave the video with something I found really impressive when I first played through the game. I'm gonna pull up with a gameplay video uh, soon or somewhere in the future at some point. At some time. In some messed up universe, I suppose. But, uh, yeah, so that was my build video. It's probably gone on for like 50 minutes. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed. I hope you maybe found this useful. Um, feedback's appreciated, even negative. And I will see you later. Peace.
Yeah, I just one shot at a badass freaking instructor. Okay, two shot at it. That was because it had a freaking shield thing in. Yeah, that's how overpowered Zero is. Hey, but just. I don't. Walk away, walk away, walk away. Let's work with it. <sighs> anyway, that was Melee Zero. He's uh, pretty OP, and I really like him. And if you don't like him, then screw you. You're wrong. Haha, <laughs> bye.